So one of my biggest struggles being a part of this community is managing my money in a way where I can afford both VV NFTs and the OMI token. So that being said, I'd like to introduce you all to the first official partner of this channel, Uthrive. Uthrive is an app that allows you to optimize your credit card use to maximize profits. On average, most people using credit cards are missing out on at least $500 a year. You don't have to pay for anything at all. Before you make any purchase you normally make using your credit cards, Uthrive will analyze your purchase in seconds and tell you which of your credit cards will give you the highest cash back and reward saving you hundreds of dollars a year doesn't matter if you're grocery shopping getting gas or planning a trip anytime you spend money save money with you thrive Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, this is from Sleep and Comics, and he's actually made a video titled Stop Going for VV Drop. So we're gonna be checking this out, seeing what this is about. I'm gonna be letting you all know my thoughts on it because I told you all um already that yeah, going for drops right now is very dangerous, especially a lot of them because of the state of the world. Like it's, it's so much so many reasons for things to fall below retail and not stay stay up. Like it's so many reasons right now. So yeah, I, I want to actually hear what this video is about, see if this is along the same lines or if it's just a title, you know. You know how YouTube go. You know the game. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and let's get into it, y'all. Well, I'm super bullish on VV, but I'm not recommending that you go for many of the drops. Hmm. Does that make sense? Sounds about right, honestly. Sounds about right. Uh, that seems like some sound advice. Last night, as we know, if your account was not KYC'd, in other words, you did not prove who you were via your license or passport and other documentation, they delisted you from the market. So lots of the collectibles, uh, the number of listings went down because they removed those accounts. Now, maybe they were bots or maybe there were people that just didn't have enough time to KYC. Either way, a bunch of the listings went away. And as a collector, you're excited by that because perhaps some of the mints or quantity disappeared. And so maybe your collectible will be uh, more valuable in the long term. And certainly some of the floors moved up in the short term. But uh, so for me, that just shows the continued progress of VV. They're doing various different things to fight bots, various different things to uh, control the market to make sure that uh, there are... Uh, nefarious people are being blocked out of the marketplace. All of these are good things as the product continues to mature. But let's talk a little bit about the situation that we're seeing with the drops. So um, if you look really now at the last couple months, um, and I did some of the numbers, uh, if you go for the drops, a lot of times right afterwards, we'll see people sell right away. And uh, the... Uh, NFT will actually drop under retail. Now, I'm not going to get into the psychology of why people do that, this or that. And I think people understand a lot of times maybe they're going for a blind box and they really want the secret rare. They don't get it. So then they just sell to get some of their gems back. Yeah, it's all about money, man. Everybody's just going for the secret rare or the ultra rare, whatever's the, the, the best one, whatever's viewed as the best one. They're going for that to try to make a quick flip and... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gambling. People are just gambling right now instead of actually investing. So you you have the choice to be a certain type of person right now. You can be a gambler or you can be an investor. There's far more money in investing, but people aren't patient enough for that. Like people don't realize you buy this stuff while it's super cheap, hold it a couple of years from now, it could be worth insane amounts of money. But people are not thinking about a couple of years from now. People want to see, what, oh, how can I get an extra $100 right now today? Like, or what the what the heck is that? What is that, bro? Like you can go and do a DoorDash to do that. Like it, it's why gamble and flip try to flip something on VV for what an extra between fifty and a hundred bucks, maybe two hundred, three hundred, when you could just DoorDash. Like spend spend some extra time DoorDashing and you can come up with that, bro. That's not real money. That's nothing. So like why you you use a platform with the potential to literally change the world, and you use this platform to try to make a couple hundred dollars you try to make doordash money with that that's honestly embarrassing but anyway I, that's just my opinion but i think it speaks to kind of two things and uh and that's um gem management and then kind of understanding kind of the sell points and, and really having a plan and that's the biggest part of collecting in my mind is you want to have a plan so there's kind of one plan people could go with and that's i'm going to collect what i want i'm never going to sell it and maybe, you know, if it's a million dollars, I'd sell it. But for the most part, I'm going to collect everything. And be okay being yourself, by the way. Because based on what he, he just said, like, 
collecting things that you want. I don't want anything on VV. I like I collecting it. The experience has been fun. It's been a great experience on VV. But the honeymoon stage for me is over with. Like it, the honeymoon, like this is an investment at this point. It's like for me, there's no piece that I would want. I am still not a collector. I'm not a collector at heart. I got into collecting because of VV. But at the end of the day, my goals are more important than me just holding things that's cool. Like I, priority for me is still the money. And that's okay. People feel like, oh, if I say that, it makes me a bad person. If I feel this way or think this way, I'm a bad person. No, you're an honest person. And if you're honest with yourself, you can make decisions based on your real motives and intentions instead of just, oh, I'm gonna hold everything because hopefully I'm gonna get paid from everything in the future. Like, like you have to be willing to be real with yourself. You can't create a strategy, create a plan around what you truly want if you can't even be honest with yourself about what you truly want. I'm one of the biggest bulls in the VB community and in the Ecomi community. And I can sit here and tell you that I am this way because I I am, am all about the money and I have no hesitation in telling you that or being honest with myself or anyone else about that. As long as you know who you are, you can make decisions that's going to, uh you know, better position you for what you truly want like and it's all about you and what you want to get from this if you want to get if you if you're a part of this for the enjoyment now when i really will be in it for something more than money once there's gamification and things like that i'm a gamer at heart already i'm already a gamer that's something i'm actually interested in as far as just holding things that do nothing couldn't care less right now i'm gonna be honest with you so um yeah i don't care about augmented reality taking pictures i'm a grown-ass man what i'm not gonna be taking no pictures with no none of these collectibles like I don't I don't care about that. When I have kids maybe like they then I would be interested, but I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not that person. I'm not in that place right now. So, yeah. And if that and I don't care. I'll I'll buy the drop. I'll pay the And if that's your plan, no problem. So if you're like, I want Boba Fett for 80, if I get a common it's fine. I'll be happy with that. I'm ready to go. And if you're in that boat, and to a certain degree, I was in that boat cuz I did go for the drop knowing a lot of the math behind it. And I really like Boba Fett. So I was okay with that. And one thing that that's interesting is because of the prices going down, it's, it's giving us information. So you're now able to see just how many morons we have in the VB community. Because before we, we said, oh, it's bots. They, they bought these. They got it on the drop and it was they got it cheap. So they're selling it under retail and stuff like that. And it doesn't really matter because they're going to make up for it with all the secret rares that they got. Um, now you can't say that. Like now you just you're really getting to see that we have a lot of morons in this community. Use that to your advantage. Make money. Like learn why they think the way they do what they're doing. And I don't I don't even care if you manipulate that situation to make some money. Like when people sit here and come out to Ray Fixie, I'm like, yo, if these clowns falling for that, that's on them. Like I, I have been telling them the same thing for a year. You want to sit here and follow somebody just because they're rich. Let's see if him being rich helps you out. So, I mean, that's your choice. So, but if you're looking to make money, if you're looking to flip to try to get some gems, um, if you don't have many gems, maybe you want to have a different type of plan. So I'll talk more about that. So let's talk about some of the... I got a different type of plan for you if you ain't got gems. It's called a job. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's called a job. Stop being lazy. Stop being lazy. Anybody can make some extra money. Anybody can put in work, bro. It's it's, it's like work ethic and, and effort. It's, that's not something that you got to pay for. It's something that you just got to make the decision to do because you want to better your life. The numbers, and then we'll get into it. So um, collectibles, other than Silver Surfer, I love Silver Surfer, for the most part, a lot of the blind boxes, the commons, etc., have been falling uh, under retail. So if you look at Boba Fett, there was a 20% chance to get the uh, ultra rare. And if you got the common or the uncommon, they were selling for 40 gems. So 50% less than retail, you would have lost 50% of your, uh, your gems at that point. And that's just not fun at all. So I think most people had talked about that as being a possibility. So you have to know that going in, thinking, oh, maybe there's only a 20% chance. I mean, if you just want a straight gamble, those aren't the best odds. And, and you're probably going to lose gems. So that's why, at least right now, August 2022, I'm saying maybe you should not go for some of these drops. Let's look at the comics. So you're like, hey, I'm going to buy a comic for $7 and, you know, I'll get a chance for a secret rare or an ultra rare. Really, those are the ones that are going over retail. The common, uncommons, and even sometimes the rares now are falling 
uh, under retail. So if you put your $7 in, there's a chance that you'll have to wait a long time for that comic to come back and for you to be able to double your money. And that's really the name of the game, uh, at least in VV, that I look at is I'm looking from the investment perspective, from a gem management perspective, I want to double my gems. Obviously, I want to triple and quadruple and quintuple, but I but at a at a minimum, I want to try to double. So that's the try to calculations that I'm making. Um, obviously, I'm not always successful, but I'm going to talk more about this in a second. So let's get going to the math of uh, of the comic. So for a 30k drop, if you are betting on it, trying to get a secret rare or an ultra rare, you're you know it's 5.5 percent. That's pretty low. For a 20k drop, it's a little bit better. But it's 7.5% to get a secret rare or ultra. 7.5% is a very small percent in my mind. I don't know if I want to gamble on that. So what, what do you do here? What's the thought process? Well, what I tell people and what I think about all the time is don't think about what you're buying it at. Think about what you're going to sell it at. And how do we know that? We have to look at comparables. So in the comic book space, and really... Um, if it's a tier D comic in my mind and I use VV rank, so before the drop, I always put the comics up there. So if it's a tier C or D comic, I don't know other than maybe you love it or you're trying to complete a run. I'm not sure if you're really, you know, trying to make gems, those are the comics to go for, at least in the current situation, maybe things will change with MCP, but that's the way I look at it. So you're looking at I think a lot of the stuff that was hyped up that was supposed to be a big deal, I don't think it's going to be. Because MCP is something that's going to cater to collectors and people who love to collect. Look at the state of the market. How many people truly love to collect in this community? Like that's a, this is What VV is doing is super valuable. Valuable features, valuable everything, but I don't think it's valuable right now. I don't think we have as many people who love this project and who love what VV is doing as they pretended when they was making all this money. Like or, or at least making all these gems. It's a different feeling when you feel like you're making a ton of money. Of course you love it. But now the honeymoon stage is war off for a lot of people. And they their people are realizing, no, I never really believed in this project. I never really loved this project. This was never really for me. So, yeah, I mean. Anyway. You know, the tier S, A, or B tier comics. And as we know, even though sometimes, a lot of times, basically every time we're going under retail at, at this point for the common and uncommons at least. But anyways, let me let me get back to it. So you look at other ones that are like it. So for example, the ones I like to talk about a lot would be NYX3, Vengeance 1. Those are young heroes that, are, that possibly could just be young Avengers 1 would be another one that could be introduced. Um, some of them are, have been briefly introduced into the MCU but might have um, a lot more upside. So for those specific ones, they're they're coming in, they're selling for, you know, their retail $7 and their commons are selling for $3 or less. Definitely under $4 right out of the gate. That's the buying opportunity. But like I said, you want to think about what can they sell for. So if you look at some of the others, you have to wait 60 to 90 days, but it's creeping up. The delistings have happened and it's very possible, I think after 90 days or longer, those could go from $3 to $6 doubling your gems and that's what we're looking for so there's two pieces here that you want to look about think about what is the price point that i can sell it at and how long do i have to wait and that speaks to the gem management so in other words if your budget is 14 gems a week i'm gonna buy two comics that's great you know and then you look at how many that's going to be over a month that's kind of your budget and if you're buying those comics and you're even buying them, you know, for far less. You're buying them for, you know, $3 or $2 even. You know that you're going to have to wait 60, 90 days for that particular comic to double in price. So you, you're out those gems. So that I'll tell you what would be smarter for me. Like if you got a certain budget a week and it's low, I would just not buy anything for a couple months. Then buy something that's like 50 or or $100 comic. That's actually a grail that's most likely to become more valuable and go up quickly in value. Like Marvel Comics 1, I believe, is at like 100 bucks right now. Like, do you really want to sit here and stack a bunch of little stuff when you could just get a couple of decent items that is not a gamble? There's about to be thousands, literally thousands, maybe tens of thousands of comics on VV. Are you really finna sit here and continue to gamble with comic book drops? If you do not love this, why are you going for it?
Like that is what you need to ask yourself at this point in time because now it's just it's getting ridiculous. Even the secret rares for a lot of comics are pathetic. It's like it's this true values are starting to come in. And the like when we a thousand more comics in, like when we a hundred more comics in, it's only going to be more to choose from. Which which is why I wouldn't personally waste my time gambling on on certain things, but that's just me. That creates the window. And now you need to budget properly. So if you only have 14 gems, 20 gems, you know that when you spend them all on comics, you're going to have to wait or put more fiat in. And a lot of times we don't have money to put fiat in. So that's type of the budgeting that you want to think about. That's what I think about a lot is, okay, when am I going to be able to realize some of these gains if it works the way I want? And, and a lot of times, sometimes it does. And of course, sometimes it doesn't. So you've got to think about all these types of things. The other thing that happens is since this is a collecting app and I'm a collector, you don't want to sell something. And there also creates a deficit of gems. So that can be a huge problem. And so I think about that. So for example, Silver Surfer, mm, I really, really want to keep one. I love Silver Surfer. So um, if I you know spend 100 gems, it's around 100 gems right now, I can't get that back because I'm never planning on selling that. So as people know, I have the 41 and 42 I invested in in those two mints, the, you know, the two highest mints of Silver Surfer. And really, it's great for me. I was lucky to be able to have both because I can sell one, keep the other, and try to get the gems back to pay for the other. If I can get, get you know, the 42, for example, is the one I'd sell. If I can get that one to double in price, maybe I can make some of the gems back. So... That is something you definitely want to consider. And that's why you do see people talk about stacking or buying two. Because if it doubles, then they get their money back for both of them and they get to keep one. And that's when you're really seeing a lot of the big gains. Because you're getting your gems back to reinvest. You have the asset. You have you know the collectible or comic. It's growing in value. You have gems to go and you know buy other things. And that's really where you're seeing um, some of the people have huge gains. And that's really where I'm at. I'm trying to double up and sell some of these things and keep collectibles and comics, grow my collection, and that's really my game plan. Anyways, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, definitely show him some love, man. Go, go support his channel, subscribe to his channel and everything. Follow him on um, Twitter and everything. But yeah, this was a great video. This was a great perspective. He gave a lot of amazing information and yeah, like, it was just a great perspective. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed this video, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one, fam. Peace out, Joe.